So let's go for the microphone. Oh, well, that's the right. Everybody. Sound okay? Yeah? Okay. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I'm Mrs. Diodario. I'm Ms. Miati. Um, so we're going to kind of give you guys a quick little run through just so you know what to expect before we um, formally start. So hopefully you found your seats okay. I know it's a little difficult to, to find in, this, in the auditorium. Um, but basically the, the lay of land, you have a program. If you don't have a program, the extra stack is along the back um, table there if you want to grab one. Um, otherwise you can ask people nearby. But basically what's gonna happen is um, we are gonna welcome everyone. We have our outgoing officers are going to go through the pillars. Um, and then when we start to call you up alphabetically, I will be along that side. And basically the entire row is going to stand up at the same time, okay? We're gonna have you filter to that side of the stage you're gonna go up the stairs, be careful, it's a little dark on that side of the stage. Go up the stairs, Miss Biotti will be at the top of the stairs. When your name is called, you'll then walk across the stage. Your assistant principal, we're not no shaking. shaking no shaking, the chair was great. Um, <laughs> Ms., uh, one of your assistant principals will give you your certificate. You're gonna walk across here, be careful, there is taped down wire here. You'll walk across. You'll go down these stairs over here. You're gonna to go to that podium next. We do have a tradition, we sign um, in a National Honor Society book. We actually started that back in 1979, so we have the name of every single NHS member from Connor from 1979, which is a cool tradition. So um, again, to keep things COVID safe, everyone is going to get your own pen. So there's a whole bucket. Grab a pen for yourself. The most important thing, there is a list of names. You have to sign by your number, okay? So it is in alphabetical order, but if we have people missing, we want to skip those spots, They're okay? Marked. They're marked, but in case somebody else is missing. So please just check your number, sign that spot, um, and then you can go ahead back to your seat and wait for the rest of your inductees. That would be a great idea. Yep, so when you sign your name, go ahead, um, sign your name in the book and then cross it off on the list so we kind of know where, where we are on the list. Questions? Go ahead. Your number is on the list. Yep. No dumb questions. This is new for all of us, so if you're wondering something, chances are somebody else is too. Other questions? Yep. Yes. So here's something, Miss Biotti, correct me if I'm wrong. When, uh, when the row stands up, they should filter to that aisle and then come down, correct? Yeah. Okay. So like if you're in the middle section, when your entire row stands up, you're gonna filter to just that aisle and then walk up and then get in line behind that section and then behind that middle section. No, I'm sorry? I'm trying to think what's easier for you guys. I don't think it matters if, if there's a clear path and you want to just go straight across. I think that's fine where you're going to stay alphabetical because um, honestly, whoever the person on the end is, whatever you want to do, your row is going to follow you. So I'm, I'm okay with either. I just don't want you like tripping over like the seats, if that makes sense. Anything else? Yep, we're good. I can't see if you're raising your hand or thumbs up. I'm blinded. I'm not meant to be on stage. <laughs> All right, anything else that you guys, we're good? Assistant principal people, you ready to start almost? 
Okay, so we'll be, we'll be, we are live, I think, now. We'll be starting officially in about 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll start right at 7. We'll start right at 7? Okay. Because we are live streaming this event, the, the microphone is very sensitive. So if you are talking in the audience, even if you think it's the quietest whisper, um, the mic will pick it up. So don't. <laughs> <laughs>
Gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the class of 2022 Connor Chapter of the National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. I am Holly Diodario, and this is Heather Biotti. We are both teachers in the math department here at Connor. This is our first year as co advisors of NHS, and let's just say it's been an interesting learning experience for the both of us. We are so thankful to be able to have an in-person ceremony to celebrate your achievements. Unfortunately, due to current restrictions, 
your families cannot be here in person, but are joining us via live stream. Let's all give your families a round of applause because without their love and support, you would not be here. This past year, you have been challenged in ways you didn't think possible, yet still persevered. Not only were you able to maintain a high level of academic achievement, but you still found ways to give back to your community. This is the epitome of character we are looking for in our members. Tonight, we will be inducting 125 new members into the Chieftain Chapter of the National Honor Society. You have been selected based on the four pillars inscribed on the Honor Society emblem, character, scholarship, leadership, and service. You all excel in academics, but this is only a part of the reason that you are here. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education. As we look forward to next year, we are very excited to see firsthand your commitment to and passion for our community. We extend our congratulations and are thrilled to be working with you as new members of the National Honor Society. At this time, we would like to welcome our soloist who is also a soon to be member of our uh, National Honor Society. Declan Smith, who is going to sing the national anthem.
time you decide you want to learn something, the experience will be so rewarding that the next time becomes easier. Soon, learning becomes a habit. At that point, your desire to learn makes getting A's easier while taking the focus off grades. The knowledge can still be hard to gain, but knowing you've mastered a difficult subject is an awesome reward. Suddenly, the world around you becomes richer, full of learning opportunities. The candidates presented here tonight are now charged to expand their worlds continually through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. is not about being elected or appointed to an office. The office does not teach someone how to be a leader. Leadership is an attitude cultivated over time. While you want to stand up for what you believe in and face the music, even when that music happens to be something unpleasant. You have a purpose and follow that purpose to get the end you desire. You have a vision. These are all questions that true leaders answer in the firm. But how do you become a leader? Each small decision you make takes you one step closer. Remember, the goal is not to get power, but to get your vision and your purpose across. Leaders without visions can be likened to driving in a strange town without a road map. You are going to wind up somewhere, it just might not be in the best part of town. The continued development of effective leadership is thus a unique and urgent charge now made to each of the candidates. One thing that is evidenced by your daily choices it is your character. Thomas McAuley said, the measure of a man's real character is what he would do if he knew he would never be found out. What do you do when no one's around? The teacher steps out of the room for a moment while you're taking a test after school. You know exactly where in your notes the answer to question 23 is. Do you look? Minimal chance of being caught. The answer to this question is the key to your true character. For while being honest and honorable when others are watching is important, being true to yourself is tantamount. And in the end, these private day-to-day -day decisions will eventually reveal your true character to, uh, to the world. You, the candidates, are hereby charged to make a lifelong commitment to the further development of good character in all that you do. service as a means to an end. Some might see it as a way to get service points while socializing, while others may view it as an unfortunate and often inconvenient necessity of high school life. But is that true community service? Once again, true community service is an attitude. Are you doing it for the right reasons? There will be Saturday mornings when you would rather sleep your heart out than paint your heart out. But in the end, when all is done, when you are once again well rested, look back and realize that you did something worthwhile, that you helped your fellow human in some way. Through our willingness to respond in positive ways without thoughts of hope or gain, we truly serve. Much has been given to you. Much will be expected of you. As candidates for National Honor Society membership, you are charged to use your time, talents, and energy well in a lifetime of service to others. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Andrea Rose as our keynote speaker. Mrs. Rose is a math teacher here at Connor. She has been at Connor for 19 years, and we are happy to have her as our guest of honor tonight. Please give your attention to Mrs. Rose. to be here tonight and really a highlight of my week to work with so many of you. 
I know many people, many teachers, many others found this a very difficult year at work for me because of many of you that I see every week. It was a fabulous year. Thank you to Mr. Duarte, Mr. Hines, Mr. Fisk, Mrs. Pringali for your great leadership during a very challenging year. Thank you to Ms. Biotti, Mrs. Diaderio, for your work at the NHS and for putting this celebration on this evening. Thank you to the parents at home for putting your wonderful children in our care. And thank you, especially, to the students here tonight for your contributions to Conard and the community. Your resumes shine with high grades and rigorous courses, leadership and teamwork sports and clubs, and commitment to charitable causes. As a teacher, we are witness to not only the ac academic achievements of our students, but acts of kindness, and courage, and compassion. I would like to share one of those examples with you tonight. It is the story of two young men, Richard and Raymond. Raymond was a senior in a large class of 28 students, of mostly sophomores and juniors. He had recently moved to our school from Uganda. Raymond and Richard both ended up in my Algebra II class. It was a great class. I remember it well. I could name 10 students, but I won't. It was diverse in every way, including math ability and personal struggles. On one of those first days, I organized their seats alphabetically and the next morning, Raymond, who ended up with a seat in the back of the class, had moved to a seat directly in front of me. And I said, you're not in your correct seat. And he politely replied, I must sit in front. And so it happened that Raymond ended up next to Richard. Raymond barely knew sign numbers when he started the year. He struggled with the math we were learning. He came to my other algebra class when he had a free period to hear the same lesson for a second time. Many said he should move to a lower level class, but he did not want to, and I agreed. Every day, Richard helped Raymond with the mail. It was like having a private tutor right next to him. Richard was a top student, kind, patient, unassuming. In fact, Richard went on to be one of the first recipients at Conard of the TOTOS Award given to students of Latinx background that excel in math. By year's end, with Richard's help and Raymond's hard work and determination to do well, Raymond excelled. I recall walking down the hall with Raymond to meet Mr. Bicenas, the math supervisor at the time, to introduce him and share his story of success. Raymond was beaming. There are many acts of kindness and compassion courage in and out of the classroom. We need to look for it, recognize it, be a part of it. It is many years ago that Richard and Raymond were in my math class, but I hope they remember the value of asking for help, the value of giving help, and what can be accomplished when we work together. during the ceremony. National Honor Society candidates will receive tokens of membership from Assistant Principals Mr. Fisk, Mr. Hines, Mrs. Tringali, and Principal Mr. Duarte. After each new member receives the membership certificate, he or she will sign the register of the Connor chapter. Please take a new pen to sign and keep it as a memento. Lily Augusta, Hugh Baldwin, Grace Biazaglu, Alexandra Bernstein Naples, Samantha Bernstein Naples, Ashni Bott, Nicole B. 
espionage, Shaylee Bond, Madeline Brennan, Bridget Bronson, Molly Brown, Owen Brown, Mia Burns, Aiden Buyak, Josephine Carreras, Ethel Chen, Natalie Chen, Aurelis Cosme, Jillian de Costa Pinto, Ariane Zaslani, Benjamin Davis, Shelby Deep, Brian Dandili, Clara Dandili, Catherine Flaherty, Flowers, Grace Flynn, Sarah Fritz, Sarah Gallagher, Lauren Galvin, Natalie Gavalis, Claire Gillis. Christina Gomez, Zachary Haynes, Sophie Park, John Haslund, Florida Hassan Oliver Feld Sam Heller Julia Kozik, Cameron Hoskins, Neil 
Buckshot, you know, sir. Sally Lynn. Marina Loftus. Annie Lopez Lopez. Safal Mahad Chetri Maggie Mancini William McPherson Andrew Messina Bridget Mooney Allison Moynihan. Anna Moynihan. John Rosansky. Sam Yukta. Natasha Rajan, Amelia Neal, Leah Nelson, Kevin. Ryan Norcia Sarah Sarah O'Leary Lauren 
आया माया तो एंकी मीसा फॉर Captain Parker Griffin Powers Sophia Pegalo Maximilian Petropolis, Maya Peterson, Isabella uh, Pinsons. Catherine Powers, Caitlin Julio, Carly Rabinovich. Elijah Rivera, Lawen Roberts, Bailey Robson. Samuel Rosa, Alexander Rosenthal, Maximilian Rothfarb. Aiden Roy, Taylor Santana, Amelia Santiago. Bella Sardelli, Emma Sasanov, Helene Salter, Callum Sherry. And Gavin Sherry. Kevin Shrina. Margaret Slap.
základní jsme. Maria Sotomayor. Ellie Susie. Emily Stedman. Grace Sullivan. Ella Tanis. Benjamin Carfaglia. Thomas Turutin. William Deeb. Layla Kamrawi. Elizabeth Kiba. Vivian Thompson. Chanel Thorpe. Kelly Collins. Train Ella Viner Rohan Venkatesh Michael Weiss, Cecilia Williams, Kimberly Williams, Zoe Wojcikowski. At this time, inductees, please rise for the Pledge of the National Honor Society. Please remain standing until you have taken the Pledge of the National Honor Society. We will repeat Mr. Duarte after each stanza. How about a round of applause for everyone really quick? <laughs> do, we'll do the oath now, and then we'll do an official round of applause after that. How's that? So with the reading of the four pillars and presentation of tokens of membership, we are now ready to have the new members take the pledge of the National Honor Society. You will find the pledge in the programs on your seat. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I pledge to maintain a high scholastic standing. I pledge to maintain a high scholastic standing. 
I pledge to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character. I pledge to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character. I pledge to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader. I pledge to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader. I pledge to give of myself freely in service to the Connard community and to the community as a whole. I pledge to give myself freely in service to the Connard community and to the community as a whole. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected, striving in every way by work and deed to make its ideals become the ideals of my school and my life. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected, striving in every way by working and deed to make its ideals become the ideals of my school and my life. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Now, congratulations. This concludes our program for the evening. We thank Mrs. Rose for her inspiring words. Finally, the Connor Chapter of the National Honor Society wishes to extend its congratulations to our new members.